I'm David Schull. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Environmental Sciences at Huxley College of the Environment at Western Washington University. We're here in my lab in Bellingham, sitting next to my radon machine. As part of my research, I use radon as a tracer for studying the flow of water and air-sea exchange. My biggest research project at the moment is in the Bering Sea. The Bering Sea is a really great place to study the impacts of climate change. This is also an area where the economic impacts of climate change might become apparent. Over the last 30 years, satellite images of the Bering Sea indicate that the ice has been melting back earlier and earlier, and it doesn't extend nearly as far. And it turns out that that affects productivity. Productivity is the rate of food production that fuels the whole ecosystem. The Bering Sea, which sits between Alaska and Russia, also sits between the frozen Arctic and the ice-free North Pacific, so it's a transition zone. And in this zone, small changes in temperature can have dramatic effects on the ecosystem. I'm interested in understanding how those nutrients are recycled in the Bering Sea to sustain the productivity, and it appears to be changing with changing climate. Not only does the ice melt back earlier, but there are fewer animals that live in the sediments on the bottom of the Bering Sea. That's important because the algae that fuel the food web eventually die and sink to the bottom. And it's in the sediments where a lot of the nutrients are released back into the water. As nutrient supply changes, how does that affect the productivity, which ultimately leads to fish? The North Pacific fishing fleet, which fishes the Bering Sea, has a home port in Seattle. And that industry is extremely important to our economy with about nearly a billion dollars in salary and wages. And although the nutrients that I study may seem fairly far removed from halibut, there's a direct connection. It's the food chain. The nutrients fuel the productivity that leads to the most productive fishing area in the world. It's a huge economic resource. Uh, which is changing as temperatures warm.